What is going on guys? Miles here and today we're going to be going through the important parts of the recent Infinite Warfare patch. Let's do this. Starting off with the equipment, the black hole projectile has seen a buff as it now has a larger radius so you're going to be able to pull in more enemies uh, from further away which is good because uh, I didn't really see many people use that equipment so it must have been pretty bad. And also now if your black hole is pulling someone in and then your teammate kills them whilst they're being pulled in, you'll now receive an assist for that. Grounded map has been re-added to multiplayer which I'm pretty happy about. I'm not sure why exactly it was removed in the first place but whatever. There must have been some pretty big glitch for them to like take out the entire map pool. Like they took out Exodus in Black Ops 3 back in the day. I didn't really know why they took that out once again but I'm glad to see it back. The micro turret specialist also got buffed as it now has higher health, ammunition and fire rate which is a pretty big buff but honestly I don't think I ever saw that specialist used in multiplayer since like the release of the game so it must have been pretty bad before this update and now hopefully it's a lot more balanced. The infected game mode has seen a couple of big changes and the first one is that if you wait and you don't spawn in whilst the first person is being chosen to be infected you will now be the infected person so I guess there was some sort of like bug or exploit before this update where if you didn't pick your class you wouldn't be chosen as infected but now you will always be infected so watch out for that and also kills and deaths are no longer stored after a match so infected no longer affects your KDA. I'm not sure if it affects your win loss but honestly I think this is a pretty good thing because a lot of people would exploit this and they'd have like a 5 KDA even though they wouldn't be that good they just played a load of infected so I'm pretty happy to see this patched. They've also added a bunch of new weapons to Infected which I'm pretty happy about. I've, I'm not exactly sure how many weapons they've added to the game mode but I've recognised the Intervention, the FHR-40, the Rack 9 and the R3K. All of these can now be found in Infected on a random rotation which I'm pretty happy about honestly because I think it adds a lot more variety which Infected was lacking previously and honestly I thought the SPAS-12 was pretty bad so hopefully these weapons will be a lot more better and will make it a lot more fun. The same thing applies in gun games, so your kill death ratio is no longer affected by playing that game mode, and they also increase the throw range of the bio spike. There were quite a lot of weapon changes as well, and the first one we have right here is for the R3K, which now has reduced recoil when zoomed in with the VMC sight, and also quick draw has been buffed on snipers, which increases the aim down sight speed, which is pretty good. That'll help you guys if you're into quick scoping and stuff like that. It's going to make it a lot easier. They've also buffed the grenade launcher for the OSA weapon which I personally am not really happy of this change. They updated the inner and outer damage so it's going to be a lot more powerful now. But to be fair I think uh, before this patch the OSA launcher wasn't very good anyway so hopefully it won't be like really OP it will be pretty balanced. How it's has also been buffed as it now has an increased projectile speed and an increased lethal radius which I think is a good thing even though I'm pretty like skeptical about like buffing launches in the game I think this gun was absolutely trash before this update so hopefully it's actually usable now. The aim assist for submachine guns has been buffed and if you're hip firing it's been increased to 800 inches and if you're aiming down sights it's been increased to 1400 inches but I'm not sure what the aim assist like values were before this patch so we can't really compare them we just know they've been improved. However the Mac Tab 45 or the UMP 45 has had its aim down sights aim assist range increased to 1500 units which is slightly higher than the average submachine gun which we heard earlier and also shotguns got a buff as their aim down sights and the hip fire aim assist range is now 600 units which matches their max damage range. And finally they've updated the spawns when you're playing hardpoint and uplink on the map precinct. I didn't really encounter any problems when playing that map in those game modes but I guess they were maybe unbalanced balanced on one side so it's probably a good change. But there we have it, I just want to let you guys know of the recent changes made to Infinite Warfare multiplayer. Let me know what you thought of them down in the comments below. I personally am happy to see SMGs buffed in the game and I'm also pretty happy to see like the infected KD thing that does not actually affect your kill death ratio anymore. But if you guys find this video useful if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel that would be absolutely awesome but I'll see you guys in my next video.